Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic that's about as fun as a root canal performed by a badger with shaky pause homelessness in Europe. Now, you might be thinking, Europe, isn't that where they have, like, free healthcare and stuff? And you wouldn't be entirely wrong. But even in a continent known for its social safety nets, homelessness remains a stubborn stain, a grim reminder that even the most well-intentioned systems can have some pretty gaping holes. Today, we'll be ranking countries based on their homelessness rates from the lowest to the highest. Buckle up, because we're about to wade through some pretty bleak statistics, all while trying to maintain a sliver of hope that maybe, just maybe, we can collectively figure out a way to ensure everyone has a roof over their heads. Spoiler alert, it's going to be a bumpy ride. All right, let's kick things off with a country that's basically the overachieving student of Europe, Finland. Seriously they consistently rank high in happiness, education, and now apparently tackling homelessness. You see, Finland has this radical idea that instead of treating homelessness as some sort of moral failing, it's, you know, a housing problem. So they implemented this thing called the Housing First Policy, which is exactly what it sounds like. The basic premise is this. Give people stable housing first without all the hoops and hurdles and then address the underlying issues like addiction or mental health. It's like putting the cart after the horse, but in a way that actually makes sense. And the crazy thing is it's working. Finland has seen a significant decrease in homelessness, proving that sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. It's almost like treating people with dignity and respect is a good thing. Who knew? Next up, we're heading over to the Netherlands, a country known for its tulips, windmills and surprisingly progressive approach to social issues. When it comes to homelessness, the Dutch have adopted a multi-pronged attack, throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the problem. We're talking comprehensive social services, affordable housing programmes and even dedicated shelters that offer more than just a bed for the night. They've got job training, mental health support, the whole shebang. It's like a one-stop shop for getting back on your feet. Now, it's not all sunshine and Stroopwafels. The Netherlands still has its share of challenges, but you have to admire their commitment to finding solutions. They're not just putting a Band-Aid on a gaping wound. They're trying to stitch the whole damn thing up. Chapter three, Germany from Autobahn to social safety net Autobahn. Our next stop takes us to Germany, a country renowned for its engineering prowess, love of efficiency and surprisingly robust social welfare system. Now, before you start picturing Germans queuing up for their daily dose of government assistance, it's important to note that their approach is more about prevention than handouts. Think of it like this. They'd rather invest in a sturdy safety net to catch people before they fall into homelessness, rather than trying to scrape them off the pavement later. And you know what? It seems to be working. Germany has a relatively low rate of homelessness compared to other European countries. Of course, no, no system is perfect, and Germany still has its share of challenges, particularly when it comes to affordable housing in major cities. But hey, at least they're trying, right? Chapter 4, United Kingdom. Keeping calm and trying to solve homelessness. Ah! The United Kingdom, a land of tea, crumpets, and unfortunately, a growing homelessness crisis. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty, it's important to acknowledge that the UK does have a long history of social welfare programs. However, in recent years, those programs have been squeezed tighter than a tube of British toothpaste, leaving many vulnerable people out in the cold, literally. Despite the challenges, there are glimmers of hope. The UK government has pledged to tackle homelessness and there are numerous charities and organisations working tirelessly to provide support to those in need. But let's be real, folks, there's a lot more work to be done. It's like trying to put out a fire with a teaspoon while simultaneously pouring gasoline on it. Chapter 5, France Liberté, Galité and a lack of affordable housing, our final destination takes us to France, a country known for its romance, cuisine, and sadly, one of the highest homelessness rates in the European Union. Now, you might be thinking France, but they have that whole joie de vivre thing going on, and you wouldn't be wrong. But even in the land of baguettes and berets, the reality is that economic inequality and a lack of affordable housing have left many struggling to keep a roof over their heads. It's a stark reminder that even in developed nations, the gap between the haves and the have-nots can be a chasm. 
The French government has taken some steps to address the issue, but it's clear that more needs to be done. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with half the pieces missing. Outro. That's all, folks. For now, well, there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour of homelessness in Europe. As you can see, it's a complex issue with no easy solutions. But hey, at least we're talking about it, right? Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more content on important social issues. For more details, check out the full article on Euronews linked in the description.